Hey guys, welcome on to the shop today. Would working on a workbench without a tail vise or some other kind of vise on your bench can be difficult at times. Sometimes when you're doing thickness planing, your board really wants to kick around and that can cause a lot of issues with it popping up or twisting sideways and that kind of gets frustrating after a while. You can use hold fast like this, but sometimes those can really get in the way. And really, when you're trying to go, they can bust up your knuckles if it's too close here. So today we're going to make an accessory for a workbench with no vise that actually comes in here and you can actually use a hold fast out here in the middle of the workbench to where it's out of the way, yet your workpiece will be very secure. And it's called a doze foot. For my doze foot, I'm going to be using just a 3 8 piece of plywood. You don't want anything really much thicker than this because it'll get in the way for when you're flattening thinner boards. And I'm also only going to cut it about 20 inches in length just to hit a few of these holes on the back side of my workbench with the hold fast. Now this is a very simple and quick build but a great accessory so let's go ahead and get this cut out. The first thing I'm going to be doing is marking out my length mark. I was originally going to make it 20 inches in length but that seems kind of long so I'm going to go ahead and make it... 15 inches in length. So I got my mark right there and I pull out my square. Now that we've got our length cut, we need to cut out the notch right here in the middle. So what I'm going to be doing is coming in a quarter inch from each end. That way I leave a little bit on the corner and it doesn't leave a point to get damaged. And then I will come in with a square. Meet on the point of both of those. And then I will make my mark. So now I've got a simple little mark right here to fit on the corner of my board. So now I need to go ahead and cut out this little notch. So now that we've gotten our notch cut out, it's time to use it. It's a very simple device to use. It simply is going to get placed in a corner. Now one thing I have found out is that it's really nice to have whatever your bench dog or whatever kind of stop you're using to be on the opposite corner of your work material. So if I had it right here and I was pushing against here, it still has a tendency to get pushed around this way because you have nothing bracing this corner. So what I've found out is that if you brace this corner into your bench dog, then you can take your doe's foot, then you take a hold fast, and you can place the hold fast however you want it. And I always tap my material into my bench dog, then tap the doe's foot, then give the hold fast a couple whacks, and that is not going anywhere. That is really solid and tight. So now if I want to go across the grain I can if I want to go lengthwise So I'm even going on this corner and I'm not having any wood movement. Going on this side and it's still not moving. This is very secure. Like I said, you can go across the grain. I even got this coffin plane that's not been really sharpened yet and I'll show you guys that even rough 
not sharpened. So you guys can see right there, this is an unsharpened coffin plane. It's got nicks and stuff in the blade already. So, and it's not moving, this is solid. Now one thing I haven't tried it on yet, and we'll go ahead and try it real quick, is using molding planes with this. So we'll go ahead and knock the hole fast loose. We'll go ahead and put this right on the edge of the bench. Clear out all the debris. Get that corner in there. Hold fast on there. Get a couple racks there, a couple there. Lock that down. Now we'll see how well it does with a molding plane. Alright guys, thanks for watching, stopping by, watching me build this doze foot. I hope that you guys give it a try if you guys use Holdfast and things like that. This was a project that was brought to me and it works amazing. I have had it in the past where the board tips up and stuff like that and this works excellent compared to just not have anything on the back of the board while you're trying to plane it. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button, share it around on all the social media, and leave a comment in the comment section below if you guys have other ways of holding your work while you're planing it and, diff and different things like that. So thanks for stopping by, give it a thumbs up, leave comments, share it around, and stop by my channel, make sure you are subscribed for the latest videos, and I'll see you guys next time.